Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Sean's Two Cents in the lovely hot tub with Greg the Duck right here. I'm here with you, Ring of Honors, Champions versus All Stars. Very solid show. Let's go into the matches. So we have Nigel McGinnis coming out saying Mark Briscoe won't be in the main event because of Poison Ivy. Then Chompa comes out and they make him the replacement for, for Mark Briscoe. So we go to our first match, which is BJ Whitmer versus Will Ferreira. An okay match with some nice storytelling between the veteran and the veteran underestimating the newcomer, but it was an alright match. Very forgettable. BJ Whitmer gets the win. Then we had T. T. Thomas versus Owen Travers. The back started off slow, but then it got really good. Nice back and forth. Owen Travers really impressed me. I really want to see more of him. T. Thomas looked good. Good stuff. Then we had Christopher Dancer and Sid Alexander and a really awesome match. Not as good as I thought it would be, but still a solid match. Good back and forth, just some good stuff. Sid Alexander still having a continuing his great year. Daniels wins with, with BME. I really thought they should put Alexander over. Daniels winning, what does that kind what does that do? Not much. I think Alexander should have won. Continue momentum. Then next we have Jacobs versus Kazarian. Nothing special here, just a solid match. Nothing really exciting happened here. You think with these two great athletes, you have something very exciting. But no, it's a very average match. Still a solid match, I say. Love watching Kazarian wrestle, but as a singles wrestler, nah, I don't think he's, he's there. He's better with Daniels. Jacobs gets the win. Then we had Matt Tabers for Match Touch. This went a little too long, I thought. It was an okay match. It was just there. I don't know if this match is a semi-main event. I, this, this spot should have gone to Daniels versus Alexander, but I didn't really care for Romantic Touch slash Red Titus. These two were just there. They, they, did, they, did, they did what they could. But then we had the big main event, the Chancers All-Stars Elimination Match. It went close to 60 minutes. It's gonna be hard, it'll be hard for me to recap the whole match. Basically, it's elimination style. You had the champions, the World Heavyweight Champion, Jay Briscoe, the TV Champion, Jay Lethal, World Tag Champions, Bye Fish, and Kyle Riley, facing Adam Cole, HH, Rock Song, Smash Jenna. Fun match, really good match, really entertaining. This is a great match with a great show of ACH. It's just good stuff here. I wish HH would have got the win and got the title shot, but Briscoe ended up being the sole survivor at the 35 minute mark. So overall, a good, 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 good main event. That's the match of the night, I think, is the main event. Second place goes to Senator Alexander for Christopher Daniels. Mainly get the show, this show from the Daniels-Alexander match. And uh, the main event, the Chandler's All-Stars elimination main event. Good stuff there. Uh, sorry. But yeah, so overall, I give the show a solid B, I thought. The undercard delivered a lot better than I thought they would. Because... It's with the main event, with all, we have having eight big guys in the main event, it kind of leaves your uh, roster kind of uh, trimmed down. But they did very well, adding some newcomers, which performed very well. Owen Travers really performed well against T. Thomas. I to get T. Thomas a spotlight. T. Thomas has been kind of floating out, floating out some obscurity for the decade, but he did good here. So we're all picking the show up on VOD, Chandler's All-Stars. And I'll be back later on tomorrow with the CCW. Take a web 7 review in the hot tub. And as always, follow me on Twitter at the Sean Two Cents for more wrestling news and whatever's on there. And buy a t shirt, keep the hot tub reviews coming at crossgees.com slash the Sean Two Cents. And subscribe and like. Peace.